Yeah. Like me, you, food, that whole that whole thing. We can just kind of see where this goes. You know, obviously we can make reservations and go to like a She nice take place. my money when I'm in need. <laughs> what it is with y'all? It's your boy Jeezy coming at y'all with another video. And in today's video, man, we got UDY with Will she choose a Lamborghini over her boyfriend? Now, this that loyalty test. If you guys ain't never seen this yet, man, go look, go take a look at UDY's channel. You know, they you know they they do loyalty tests. They they sometimes they bring on a girl, sometimes they bring on a boy to see if their partner will switch up on them for you know somebody who's rich or whatnot. So I mean, I, I actually was waiting for UDY to drop a video so I could react to it because I think it would be a fun reaction to do on our channel when we go live. You know, we we take a look at some of these sometimes, man. But you know, it's going to be a long video, so I mean, skip through it, do what you guys got to do, but if you rock with this, you rock with my reactions, make sure you hit that like button, so the channel, if you know, and turn the post notifications on. I appreciate all the love and support you guys show. We just hit 8.2. We flying through 8,000, man. We're going to be at 9K real soon, but I'm not going to be doing too, too much pausing throughout this video, just because it is 20 minutes, and I don't want to drag this on to some 40-minute video. You know, I'll just let it play. I'll talk over, you know, important points we'll touch on. I might do a little skip it through. We'll see, but like I say, y'all. Appreciate y'all. A millionaire, and we paid her a lot of money to find out. I think we should get dinner because it sounds like you. Millionaire, and we paid her. A or does she actually love her boyfriend's Mark? We got a Lambo, a crib, a millionaire, and we paid her a lot of money to find out. I think we should get dinner because it sounds like you ate dinner. basically okay. nothing today. I'm sure I'm not the only person that sees this. You know, I'm pretty sure you hear this all the time, but I would love to get to know you. It's like an actual date. Oh. Like me, you, food, that whole thing. Will Grace remain loyal to her boyfriend, or will she trade him for Grace a and Mark. successful decoy? What you predictions right now? Is hey, she going to cheat or is she morning? going to stay loyal? Doing all right, man. Doing, Doing all right. right. Wish I didn't feel the need to do a loyalty test. What made you want to do it? I just need to know. Dating in LA is difficult, and you know how it is. Need predictions Mark's right now. Grace works as a model, and he believes that she may be doing things behind his back. Most recently, he found out that she went to a music festival and didn't even tell him. This is alarming because those festivals can be the perfect grounds for meeting someone or Red flag out. right if there. Grace is going behind Mark's back. It is incredibly disappointing because he has been helping her financially. See, while she is is a model and is getting gigs she's not really I feel like in a relationship okay sorry I'm, I don't worry it's gonna be quick stuff or I'll just talk over but listen if you're in a relationship if you're going to a festival you're going somewhere it's basic respect to tell your partner bro like that's just this is weird if you're not saying nothing. making that much money from them yeah it's really just the behavior after the music festival oh, I, was like, I, I don't know like does something happen out there I feel like there's a lack of transparency to find out if Grace was truly loyal to Mark who we brought back a familiar face I was in your shoes so I know exactly how you're feeling going to festivals by herself and doing this and doing that's kind of like sing do some hand model photo shoot stuff ken is in position everything is ready to go remember the purpose of this phase is for jp to make contact with her and get her number nothing too crazy is gonna happen here yeah, i know it's not a big deal, but I'm still anxious, you know? Our elaborate plan was in full swing. Grace was coming to this photo studio to hand model some products that Ken's company was supposedly Hand selling. model. I recognize all this stuff. It's a discount out at Walmart. Grace already works as a model, so having her hand model these items was an easy payday for her and a certain way to get her here for us. The only problem was we had Ken facilitate the communication. Not knowing what to pay her, this man offered her $1,000 for the photo shoot. I'm totally good. Okay, cool. So exactly what we talked about on the phone. We have just a bunch of these TikTok, Instagram type of products. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I guess we can just get started. Do you okay, do awesome. a lot of hand? photography or i've done it a couple times now yes yeah, so can't believe i'm doing this how do you guys feel oh, about no, your girlfriends or boyfriends <laughs> model yeah, yeah, yeah. i feel comfortable with to, that you know see what's up this is what we're going for right there that that type of photography you think ken's gonna do that uh <laughs> Going to swap items. He's supposed to just get hand photography, so then JP can come in and be like, "You deserve to show your entire face, your entire body." Is he tall? He's tall. Yeah, he's tall. Yeah, he's tall. Wait, how tall are you? I'm five ten. You know, not oh, at the six feet yet. Dude, he's six three. Oh, yeah, he's six three. He's six three, bro. Why you got my girl in the flow, man? This is a social media kit. Okay, as soon as I get to this product and she starts modeling it, I'm going to send JP in. Okay. Let's, Let's do it. Okay. I'm tired of watching Ken be a mediocre photographer. You know, for the lack of experience, Ken did a decently okay job. Sure, the photos didn't look as expected, but he did sell the part. With his job now complete, it was finally time to send in JP. Smile, you're in the Bahamas. Uh -huh. Yo, Ken. Do you guys think you'd be okay. able to oh, tell if you were sorry, being sorry. set up right? or, you're here or, or in the loyalty yeah, test? Do you guys think you'd be able to in the middle of a shoot. feel the signs or no? No, yeah. I, we're, mean, we're just, I just, I needed the drive. From uh, last week's shoot. Right now? At, I can wait. I can. I, can I feel like I would. I've seen enough of these videos to know what to look for. I'm totally sorry about that. 
and walks off to get a hard drive, leaving Grace and JP by themselves. Are these your products or? Mine? No, no, they're not mine. I'm just here, you know, modeling with a hand. Seeing him next to her, he is tall. What are, what are these? Are these like for a store? Or? You're just gonna be uploaded on Amazon. <laughs> Bro, if you worried about cool. another man's height, he's an amazing photographer. He's actually took some photos of my company the other day, so he's actually just getting content for me. And oh, yeah, I'm sorry to interrupt so you guys, cool. but it seems like it, he was like zoomed in just on the phone. Like he's not doing like the it's just whole hands, body yeah, thing. It's just hands. That seems like a bit of a waste, right? That you look gorgeous. He's only <laughs> taking photos of your hands. That's oh, kind of okay. crazy. So have you been you've been modeling for a while? Do you work with bigger brands or? Yeah, I do actually. Yeah. That's cool. I'm, I have a shoot later this week, and we don't have a model yet. Oh. So yeah, if you like, here, you need a model. Yeah. Maybe an hour, two hours. I think you're more than qualified. Yeah. Okay. There he is. Here's the hard drive. Thank you. I'm sorry, Bo. I didn't. Didn't mean to stop by. I have one more favor. I think I might need to steal your model. What are, what are Not you? now, but for the shoot later this week. Can I, let me yeah, just go ahead and. I'm down. Let me go ahead and take your information down. Do you have availability? I mean, I, that's not, that's not bad. Or, Mondays I mean, and Wednesdays that's money, work, you know but I can saying? always, you know, like move stuff around. Yeah, whatever works for you. I think that'd be amazing. And um, yeah, it'd be really fun. We'd just spend the day together. So yeah, just to touch up on something, bro. I think that if, you know, if, if my girlfriend was offered, you know, a thousand dollars to, you know, do some. Some modeling or whatnot. I mean, it depends what kind of modeling you're doing. You know what I mean? And it's just like, like we're not gonna get too much into that, but it's like it's money. You know what I'm saying? I'd take a thousand dollars to go model, and I'm sure my girlfriend would be fine with that. You know what I'm saying? That's not the big problem. The problem is Mark, right? He's already he, he's tripping about the guy's height, man. That shows that he's got some insecurities or whatnot, right? Me, I'm five. I'm like five nine, right? And it's like. Man, for like height, you know, I wasn't blessed with the with the six foot six one jeans, but you gotta work with the with the cards you're dealt, bro. You can't be worrying about the next guy, how tall he is, bro. That's 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 a weak mindset. Yeah, so just I guess text me and you know the details. Yeah, of course. I don't want to take up any more of you guys' time. Let me just grab that. I'll message you. Thank you, Grace. Right. <laughs> That JP. Nice Thank you. And I'll walk you over there. Appreciate it. Thank you. Cool, man. And just like that, phase one was complete. JP made a contact, showed off his cars, and collected the number. This is phase one. Yeah. I mean, she bought her money, so you yeah. know, it is what it is. It is she gave him her number, but like, it doesn't really mean anything bad. Right, either, right. Because right. she did it for like a. She a hustler, so I respect that. I definitely get it. I mean, homie JP definitely was putting on the moves. Right. Yeah. Uh, do you mind just holding back up? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Um, yeah, that was a little buddy when we used to do a lot of work together back in the day. From here, JP's just gonna text her, keep in touch with her, schedule out the photo shoot for phase number two. And, All right. yeah. Perfect. Uh -oh. Welcome to the heartbreak camera. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> got Sergio right here. Heartbreak camera! Yeah, we gotta get to the action. Looks great. We got the little designer stuff everywhere. Okay, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll come out and get you. So okay, I'll be right she at the place. Just stay on the line. Okay, I'm pretty sure she's here. Hold on, where are you parked I'm just at? gonna skip through to the important okay, parts because take a look. it's like, I mean, we know what they're talking about, how they're setting it up and stuff, so we're just gonna... Oh, okay, I see you. Did she, she tell you like, what she was gonna now? do today and stuff? She said she was shooting today. Oh, so she did tell you that yeah, she was yeah, coming in. Got another oh, okay. shoot. I didn't really ask more in depth. How are you? Good, how was the drive? Easy? Yeah. Yeah, super fun. Yeah. A lot of traffic, a lot of LA traffic. No, no, it was actually perfect. That's good. I'm glad you're here. You're actually early. The photographer said he was going to be like 40 minutes late. Oh, okay. Uh, this is the car. This is the car we're going to be using. A little dirty, but it's, you know, it works. You want to take a look? What did you think of the Lambo? Did you get a chance to go inside of it? Yeah, I saw, I saw the Lambo. It was pretty clean. <laughs> it was clean. Man, that makes me nervous too. It's just going to be regular photos, maybe some videos. Like and being in a movie. <laughs> basically. Basically, yeah. And the thing about this is, yo, it's like, like I when I asked you guys earlier, I'm like, do you think you would know if you were in a test or not? I don't think like a normal, like a regular person wouldn't unless you watch the channel. I feel like I would know, you know, I, I know what the signs are. It's like, this is too good to be true. But if she fails, if she fails, man, just know that you gave up a relationship for something that you that you that, that you thought like it wasn't even re oh my goodness bro i hope she stay loyal please there you go oh my god you, you, you oh got it god. you got it there you go you about to lose this girl sorry it's a little bit dirty but it's not dirty <laughs> it's crazy though right <laughs> so this is what we're going to be shooting in, I don't know, you're probably going to be all over, like, the inside, outside, and... Wow. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah, so it should be pretty fun. It should be pretty cool, and... Damn. Call it a day from there, right? Oh, my God. But, yeah, it's cool. And this is your car? Yeah. This is, like, the day... This is, like, this fits all the groceries. This is the bigger one. All the other ones are tiny. Yeah, I bet it little fits all the Small, all the little supercars, so... <laughs> okay. It's cool, though. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. This, uh, but we can just go yeah, inside wow. now. She impressed. Yeah, we'll go inside, and we'll... I don't know. We'll take it for a spin later today. 
I really thought JP was gonna take him for a ride. We gave him permission to, but he either felt like he didn't need to, or he just wanted to leave her wanting more. Oh, okay, they just walked through the That's door. That's the key. Okay. This That's the it. key. It's gonna be a little bit messy. Sorry about that. A, a little bit, a little bit, not really. I can give you like a little miniature tour right now. This is living room. These are couches. I kind of just use it as like an Airbnb space. This is, I think, one of three, four houses, so I don't really... Uh, what? Yeah, you can just say... Uh, no, all over. You can just say your stuff. Man, it's just it's it's just so crazy how gullible people are nowadays. You know what I mean? And I mean, yes, you would, you could believe it, this and that, but it just goes to show how you know vulnerable and easy it is to you know lie to someone and and trick them. And that's why I just hope she don't fail, man, because. You got a good guy right here, man. Down if you'd like. If you guys recall, JP told Grace that the photographer was running late. I guess it's kind of just me and you for a little bit. We have a little bit of time to kill, but what we do, um, what do you like to do? What, like, tell me some things about you. What do you do when you're not being a supermodel? What do you do? <laughs> the reason for this, of course, was so that JP could break the ice and get a little more friendly with Grace. Uh, I actually love running. To be mentally well, I need to be physically exhausted in my exercise. Program. Oh, no. So cardio, like, tires me out mentally. No, running would put me in the ground. That would stress me out to, like, an overload. That's good, though. What do you, so what do you do, like, marathons, 10Ks, like? Uh, I was a sprinter in high school when I started running. Okay, cool. Um, but I've been trying to do more distance running. They literally just making small talk. Yeah, this is my time. I was a little anxious, but I'm sorry I calmed down. He, JPC is kind of boring, so <laughs> this is cool. He boring, but he got the money. I get that. While we're on the topic of having a lot of fun, why don't we move over here? I kind of want to sit down too. It's been hot, been driving all day. After a good 15 minutes of conversation, JP then brings Grace exactly where we want him to. Here we go. Right, but I work for myself, so I give myself a lot of breaks, a lot of lunches, and a lot of free time. But yeah, I do media, marketing, and graphic design, brand management for other brands and help them. Is that like your passion or do you have other passions? I do a lot of other things. I like to golf. Golfing is like one of my favorite things to do right now. I got into it. Isn't uh, that like for old people? It is for old people. And I don't really like the tone that you use when you said that, but it is for old people. <laughs> She's flirting. She's flirting. She didn't have to say that, but that's, that's, that's flirting. Trust me. Well, and they're actually really, really easy to beat. Their testosterone is like through the floor. Um, it's not a bad networking. No, gig. it's, it's amazing. No, yeah, that's an amazing networking gig. It's cool. I've met a lot of partners there that I would have never met prior that have brought in a lot of really lucrative business. So you live completely alone, like you don't even have a goldfish. I do have two dogs. Oh, yeah, said that. yeah, yeah. I have two dogs. Oh my god, what are their names? What Ro are they? Rocco and Fendi. Fendi, like Gucci, Balenciaga, Dior, Fendi. Oh, yeah. No, I just thought Fendi was an adorable name for a dog. But yeah, it's like the, the first red flag for me would be the shoes the, yeah, in the house. designer. I think, I don't know, I thought it was cool. And <laughs> okay. So far, man, I'm bored. <laughs> That's a good thing. Mark's got that TikTok attention span. <laughs> so do you have uh, plans after the shoot or anything like that whenever he decides to get um, here? I don't think so. No? Well, did you eat? Or? Yeah, I had a Starbucks sandwich on the way here. So, no. You did, you did. I mean, that's something. That's a snack. That's not really. <laughs> tell me why women. Tell me why women all the time. Did you eat today? Yeah, you know, like I, I had a, I had Starbucks. I had a coffee. This and that. Man, I'm telling you, you talk to any girl, they have one fruit. They will have like a yogurt in the morning, and they'd be like, "Yeah, I ate. I ate. You know, I'm good." <laughs> Food. Okay. Okay. Well. I think we should get dinner. Because it sounds like you ate dinner? basically okay. nothing today. Okay. Um, if you'd no, be in the should have shut that down. Um, dinner where? Well, I mean, that kind of depends. Depends on what? I think what depends on you. Like, me, like I should choose the restaurant? or No, I'm going to choose the restaurant. But um, I, it depends on you because, I don't know. I, can I just be honest with you? I feel like that's way easier. Yeah, I would love you to be honest with me. Oh, here we go. So I know you probably hear this all the time, but I think you're stunning. You're gorgeous. You have an amazing personality. I'm sure I'm not the only person that sees this. You know, I'm pretty sure you hear this all the time, but um, I would love to get to know you. If that's something that you would be interested in, maybe, I don't know, as like an actual date. Thank you. Like me, you, food, that whole, that whole thing. We can just kind of see where this goes. You know, obviously we can make reservations and go to like a nice fancy place and dinner, drinks and all that stuff, but if that's something that you're you're open you're to, talking not, too much, bro. I totally get it. If you just wanted to kind of stay cordial or whatever, I'm hoping I'm not offending you or anything, but I think that it would be a lot of fun, but if not, we can just, I don't know, go to McDonald's or, um, okay. wait, you don't have a boyfriend? Man, he's like talking that. way too, he's talking way too much, man. He rambled for about two minutes, bro. No, listen, please don't do it to my man, Mark, please. Right, I'm not like, no? 
nothing like that? No. <laughs> wow. Wow. Fail. Instant and complete utter fail. I don't care how she's going to try to spin it or what excuse she's going to make or even if she says no to going on a date with JP. Her completely denying Mark's existence constitutes an instant fail. I don't know if she was blatantly just lying like that. Like, Bro, I don't have a boyfriend. Like now I have to pause it because, listen, there ain't no coming back from that. There ain't no, oh, we're just friends, this and that. No, you told him you didn't have a boyfriend. And it's just so sad to see how there's no connection between the two. It was the money. It's the Lambo. It's 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 all this, you know, designer and stuff. That's what sold her, bro. There was no genuine connection between the two. Ten minutes isn't enough, you know, to know if you love. Oh, my God. Like, now I'm thinking, like, was she out there just not having a boyfriend? I feel like I should have asked that, like, five minutes no. ago, but... No. Uh, well, yeah, if you don't have a boyfriend or anything, is that, like, something that you would want to do? What? Yeah? Yeah. Uh, uh, where would you want to go? Be doing at these shoots. It's that shit that just makes it hard for me to just, like, trust people out here, you know? I don't know yeah, where he's we'll at. Yeah, we'll confront him. Um, should we wrap up? tell you when he was going to get here? He told me he was going to be here in, like, 30, 40 minutes, but I feel like that was, like, 30 or 40 minutes ago. I would love to see her face when I pop up in that bitch. I can tell you right now, if we just had to go downstairs, what she's going to say is... Here we go. <laughs> get her ass. Hold on. Uh, yeah, you can just come in. It should be open. You're good, boss. My guy. Oh, he's here. Oh, man. Man of the hour finally came up. What's good? Bro. Mark, Grace, Grace, Mark. I'm actually, I'm gonna use the bathroom. My house is your house. Uh, do whatever you need to do. I'll be over here. I'll be back in like 10 minutes. <laughs> less. Appreciate it. Of course. It's a nice house. Uh, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? You were fucked. Imagine her heart. Imagine what's running through her mind. You know, I know the guy sat, but imagine, imagine. I'm here to take photos. Take photos of what? You're not a photographer. I'm a photographer today. You're a photographer today. Today I'm a photographer, yes. Okay. So you want to tell me what y'all were just talking about? Uh, about work. He hired me for this job. Okay. And we were waiting for a photographer who was not you to get here. Hmm. And there's there's nothing else. No. Nope. Sure, there's nothing else you want to tell me. I'm sure there's nothing else I want to tell you. She's done. I'll give you a chance to come clean if you just tell me the truth. There's there's nothing to tell you. What are you Grace, you're lying in my fucking face. Yeah. Would you I like me to tell you. You didn't just tell that man you were single and that you're able to go on a date with him. No, I didn't say that. We were talking about work. Oh, I was oh you know when people say they love when they know somebody's lying because they have actual proof, like they know they're lying and they still lie. We're witnessing that firsthand. It's such a nice feeling. Are we doing this right now? I'm asking the same question. Why are you lying? I'm not lying. I think that this is just a really weird continuation of these like paranoid moments. Paranoid <laughs> moments. Oh, you were just giving me shit last week when I had a studio session with some females. He was like, oh, I don't feel comfortable and all that shit. But you're out here planning dates and shit. That's cool. I'm not planning dates. You I'm didn't like, plan a date. date. There's no point of lying anymore. We got it all on camera. We captured everything. Who's we? This is a loyalty test, and your ass fucked up every time. So Grace, this entire thing was basically all a test. Mark wanted to find out if you were truly loyal to him or not. So we had JP pretend to be rich, pretend to want to go on a date with you. The reality is, though, none of this was real, and there is no photo shoot happening. So no money, no cars, no designer, no boyfriend. Bitch. Back to the streets, nigga. She was just giving me shit last week, y'all. She was just giving me shit. Oh, you gonna have a studio session with them girls, all your hoes, blah blah blah. And now she over here planning dates and shit. But I didn't do anything. Oh, you, you ain't do nothing. No. So it's okay for. So it's okay. I just plan dates and say I don't have a girlfriend. What the fuck? <laughs> I go on the date. I like how calm you is. I'm a huge, huge part of. What happened right now was intentional. Is the fact that a lot of the questions that I was asking you were very open-ended. It's gonna Getting hit them later. Your but... path out of here. Do you have a boyfriend? Would you like to go on a date? I gave you an opportunity to get out of this every four or five minutes or so, and he was actually rooting for you. And oh, he was rooting. For you. He actually wanted to opt out of this a few times, but he decided to go through with it. And we gave you a lot of opportunities to be faithful. To you literally lied over there to my face. 
I literally just saw everything. And you're sitting here lying to my face. The conversation we had today and the other day. That's how he's confronting her. You know what I mean? Some people will blow up, start freaking out. He's doing it the right way because it's going to hit her more. Like, why didn't he, you know, freak out? Why didn't he do this? Because he's going to be good without her, man. She's she, she, she done. You know what I mean? It's bad to the streets for her. She ain't got nothing. And it's like, it's going to hit him later. Of course it will, for sure. But I mean, man, he handled it perfectly. He saw all of it. Yeah, you might not have gone on like a date with JP, but you did say you're single and you don't have a boyfriend. She would have went on a date. She would have well, went on a date. I guess we'll never know. Oh, so in the streets, oh, I'm single. You're single. Is that okay for me to do too? So did we're I both just, you? did you do anything? Did I cheat on you? Did you cheat on me? Well, if we didn't stop it, how do I know? You, you don't think I, that- I, I, I'm, if, I'm, you can believe what I want We just saw the shit. We just saw the shit. Why don't you just own up to the shit? You're you're honestly so paranoid. I'm like, so I'm, I'm so par paranoid. How am I paranoid when you're literally planning dates with people? I'm not doing that. Why don't you just take accountability? Accountability for what? Accountability accountability for what? I'm like, fuck you. Oh, you don't wanna finish fuck the you. shoot? You don't wanna finish the shoot? <laughs> fuck me. You out here planning dates and shit, but I'm the bad guy. You don't wanna go out with the Lamborghini and shit? <laughs> Keep digging, Grace. That's, that's what's up, man. That's what's up. But we watched that video. I'm not going to hold y'all with a long intro. Let me know what y'all thought about that video. If you want more of these videos, I ain't going to hold y'all too much longer, man. It's your boy, MGZ, signing out. I love y'all. Stay out the way. Stay safe. Peace.